Hello and welcome to section 7, called Sharing Charts on the Web. The previous section focused on how to handle input from the user within a high chart. In this section, we'll learn how we can set up our own high charts exporting service to export charts in different formats. Next, we look at an example how this generated image can be sent through email. Later, we look at how we can share dynamic charts, and finally, we'll study high charts printing options. Now we move on to the first video of this section that teaches us how we can export images to different formats. When working with a large collection of data, we need means to get a portion of data in focus. One way of doing this is zooming in and out on the data drawn out by high charts. In this video, we're going to create a chart on which if we click a button, we send data through Ajax to an image exporting service driven by PhantomJS. This is why we first set up a simple chart for exporting through with an Ajax call. Next, we drop a PhantomJS image converting service. And finally, we connect the previous two with a server-side PHP mechanism. As a start, we use one of the sample charts from previous videos, and we add the exporting feature to it. Let's open highcharts-exporting.html in our code editor. It's one of the charts set up we used earlier. One important thing for this usage is to have the chart options for the chart as a variable. Next, let's have a look at the HTML part. Here we have the button for firing the image generating mechanism. After that, we have a placeholder for the preview of the generated image with some basic inline styling. So now we have a button that we'll want to be able to press to send a request somewhere, receive the link of the image and show it in a small box. For this reason, we have this function attached to the button's click event. Here we define a JavaScript object variable which will be used for the image generation. Here's the URL of the PHP file which connects to our image generating mechanism with this HTML. Here we convert the options to JSON. Here we can define the format. A little later we'll look at all the possible formats. Next we pass through the chart title too. Here, we added preloader animation for the better user experience. And next, we have our Ajax request set up. As you can see, we send our object variable as the request's content to the Ajax function by post and send it to the URL of the PHP file we defined earlier. We have some error handling here. And next, if our Ajax request is successful, we receive the link for the image and generate the link and image tag for the image preview placeholder. Next, let's set up our converting service. The developers behind High Charts recommend PhantomJS, a headless WebKit drop in solution. This software will be used through command line and it can be scripted by JavaScript files. I have already prepared all necessary stack. So you should be able to find the following. You need to have a copy of PhantomJS and place it in a folder named Exporter. In the same level, there is a highchart-convert JavaScript file which holds the commands for PhantomJS. The char-images folder will be used for generated material. The JS folder contains other necessary JS files for PhantomJS and the TMP folder will be used for temporarily generated files. Let's assume we all have the same setup. Now, in our code editor, let's open the chart-exporter.php file, which is called from our HTML by the Ajax request. This starts with a function that is used for generating image file names for the chart's images. Here, we collect the data from the Ajax request. Next, we process the possible image types. As you can see, these are the possible values which can be set as type in our HTML's object variable. PNG is recommended 
since it has the smallest size for general use in web and email, but we can use other types per need. PhantomJS processes HighCharts option as a separate file, so we generate this file in our TMP folder here. Next, we convert the chart's title to a machine-friendly name. Next, we launch PhantomJS's converting service by executing a command line command. Next, we handle error. And finally, we pass back the chart image files link as we early prepared its receiving in our HTML file for preview and download. Now, Let's take a look at our solution by opening highcharts-exporting.html in our browser. As you can see, we can click on the Generate Image button. The preview appears, and if you click on it, you'll get the full image in a blank browser window. In this video, we have learned how to generate chart image on our own server with Ajax technology, PhantomJS and PHP. In the next video, we will send our generated chart to an email. Join me there.